Hey everyone, welcome to Alchemy Star. So we have here Nina and her umbrella. So apparently umbrellas or parasols. Parasol is actually a small umbrella um, used for non-rainy things. So again, apparently a parasol is that, uh, that strong. So we're going to take a look at her kit and uh, more or less what makes her tick. So going to look through Breakthrough. Apparently, she already has a built-in preemptive strike, but um, number three at BT3 is going to be additional damage. Then that's it. And also increases active skill damage factor, 100% parcel mode, and 1000% in unarmed mode, which is actually very big. The 1000 mode is really a the cherry on top, so to speak. So going back to her equipment, so equipment is whenever switching to unarmed mode to parasol mode. So once she picks up the parasol, uh, immediately deal 100 damage to one surrounding cluster. So this can be triggered through her um, through her active skill or her uh, stepping on it or somebody stepping on it. So this is also good. This is up to a max of 200% damage, which, which is actually good. Good. Very good. So we're there then for her. Let's go to her chain combo. So chain combo damage is the same whether in parasol or unarmed mode. Uh, the difference is when she's using a parasol... The area of damage is greater, but when she's unarmed, it's going to be number of enemies nearest to her. The maximum is 4 at 13, 13 chain. Okay, so you, can, you, you can't really maximize her without the parasol, but going to her active skill, which is actually interesting... Um, parasol mode selects one traversable tile, so she's going to throw it. And hurls the parasol on the selected tile, dealing 80% damage to tiles along the path, then switches to unarmed mode, which is kind of small, right? But, 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 unarmed mode reclaims the parasol, dealing 6, 640 damage to the tiles along the path, then switches to parasol mode. Okay, switch to parasol mode whenever the parasol, parasol is covered or removed when it is covered by an enemy the skills cooldown is a plus one round this is the problem with this active skill if an enemy steps on the parasol then there's an additional cooldown for the active skill but um i tell you guys her skill is pretty much very interesting let's go to to the demo for this skill and let's see let, let me explain to you further on how you can really maximize her let's go to after to afternoon team uh, tea party why am i so so stuck <laughs> with my tongue today um let's go to nina let's start this trial i did this trial already um i actually love her skill because um at the end of throwing her parasol or either throwing or receiving it or pulling it back it really deals a lot of damage okay so i'm gonna be doing a sample run of her on how to use you re, how to really maximize her what's happening to me today so how to really maximize her um especially if you're expecting enemies to come to you if it's a horde a mob whatever um she is going to be brilliant at that so let's do this guys um okay so start mission um take note that uh once you click on this you're gonna be throwing she still has the par parasol then uh, either gonna throw it here to cover maximum damage so at the end where the parasol is landing it's going to be um nine tiles so but this is only a small damage of 80 percent so once you initiate this once you initiate this there you go um i would suggest that you do not pick up the parasol because later we're going to retrieve it okay so i'm gonna just click here and not move don't move don't move okay so she's not gonna move 
We're not going to we're not going to retrieve the parasol. We're going to move in a while. Okay, sorry. They step on the parasol. So, as you can see, cooldown is going to be at 2 2 rounds. So, while there are 2 rounds, again, once you have her parasol, she deals good, good or better um, better combo damage. Of course, she has an umbrella. And she swings it around. So we're going to be placing ourselves up there. So that we can hurl the parasol and retrieve it later. I'll show you guys on how, how her skill is. Ideally, throw the parasol where enemies could not step on it. Ideally... So again, I'm going to throw this one just to retrieve it later. So I'm going to throw it so far away that can't hit two of these. So I'm going to hit so far away. Initiate. So throwing. So that's the 80%. The, re the retrieving of the parasol actually does bigger damage. So I'm just going to move here. Not too far away. So we're going to be going to wave 2. Cooldown is 1. Definitely we're going to we're going to waste another turn here. And uh, just go here to the other side. So unarmed damage. So as you can see, we're going to be no, not yet retrieving. We're going to go back. So while you're up there, your parasol's down here. It's not really a problem because you can retrieve it. So it's going to go through a line where it's going to deal massive damage. So that is the difference between throwing and pulling the parasol. Do not retrieve the parasol. Do not step on the parasol. Because um, her kit is really built on throwing and pulling it. Okay, do not retrieve by standing on it um, because it's not the way she's going to be built. And you're going to be dealing more damage if you're going to be retrieving it two turns after you've thrown it. As long as an enemy doesn't step on it. So we're just going to be finishing this round and um, so that you can see more of, again, there. She has bigger, um, she has bigger chain combo damage with a parasol than without a parasol, of course, because um, you're gonna be having, you're gonna be carrying a an umbrella for this one. Let's just finish this round, and um, I'm down to what? Let's uh, throw this near so that we can explode this with. Uh, Two, two. Okay, let's do it. Put it there. This is only eighty. Although it's decent damage, but you, you you'd want a bigger damage than just that. And where do I go? I think she's gonna die with one attack. No, she still lives. Okay, chance for another. Let's finish this bastard here. Bastard guy. Let's do the full Monty here. You can actually just, uh, you know, if, if you don't finish him off, if you didn't finish him off and run through here, you can just retrieve and cut him in half while retrieving that parasol. So that is it. So again, another interesting kit for Nina. Hope you guys were able to pick that up in terms of... And hope you guys were able to get Nina. I'm sorry I wasn't able to do a summon session for Nina because I was not sure if I'm going to pick her up. But slowly but surely, I was, um, you know, summoning tens and tens. And little did you know that I I was already at my, what do you call this, my 40th pull. And on the 43rd pull, I was able to get her. At the 40th pull, I after that, I did singles already. Then on the 43rd, I got her. So 
that's the whole story why I didn't, you know, I, w I was not sure if I'm going to get her, but eventually I wanted to, but I already summoned the first 20, then the next 20, then the last three. So that is it, guys. What do you think of Nina? Do you think she has a place in water in terms of, um, in terms of, what do you call this? In terms of um, detonators, there are a lot of detonators um, that are in water. So she ha she is actually a niche. She, she can perform in different you know different um, stages very well. She performs well, if, especially if you're being harassed. She's gonna be good there, and she's gonna be good in throwing and evading and pulling back the parasol. That is actually her play style. So, anyway, guys, thank you very much for staying this far. So, hopefully, you were able to get something out of it. And uh, if you're still here, please do subscribe because this helps my channel a lot. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is the warden, and I'm out of here. <laughs>